The new leader of the Catholic Church brings with him many firsts, but along with the firsts comes an old problem, dealing with what has become a scandal-plagued Vatican. News 8's Kent Pierce is live in New Haven with local reaction to those challenges facing the new pope. Kent. And Chris, there are plenty of firsts for the new Pope Francis to deal with, uh, plenty of scandals rather, and nothing indicates that he'll try any major modernization or shakeup of the Vatican. But there may be changes coming to the Vatican simply because of who he is and where he comes from. When Cardinal Bergoglio became Pope Francis yesterday, the Catholic Church experienced a few firsts. For one, he is the first Latin American Pope. One of the great challenges to the Catholic Church is that although there are two-thirds of the Catholics now live in the global south, the sort of consciousness in the, the historic center of the church in Rome remains overwhelmingly Eurocentric. Dr. Paul Lakeland is head of the Center for Catholic Studies at Fairfield University, a school founded by Jesuits, and that is another first with Pope Francis. He is the first pope from the Jesuit order. In this country, we tend to think of Jesuits as educators because there are so many Jesuit colleges and universities like Fairfield University. But Jesuits are also well known for at times having disagreements with the pope. While the Jesuits have a vow of obedience to the pope, they also, in, in, in recent years anyway, have been thought of as a little bit... Uh, maybe too freewheeling. He can sort of laugh at that because there is not much about Pope Francis that is in any way freewheeling. He is also the first pope to choose the name Francis after Francis of Assisi, a saint associated with simplicity and poverty. And Francis of Assisi was also open to nature, sort of the medieval version of an environmentalist, but becoming the first Pope Francis might signify above all else that this new Pope is his own man, not like his predecessors and not beholden to any of the factions within the Vatican. We're live outside St. Mary's in New Haven. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.